Well, I've never done this before. Roscoe Soul Train! Yeah, baby! Fuck that nation! Fountain Valley. Valley! Wow, I'm out here in Fountain Valley with Robert. Hey, what's up, man? What's How up, you doing? Dude? Hey, oh, very, bro. Very Chris Kringle day. Hey, dude. man, are you a Robert Land podcast boy? I, I am, dude. <laughs> man, boy, man, boy. Boy. Howdy. Yeah, we're at Savers. Um, you know, Savers and I have an interesting relationship. Robert, hold on a second. Here you go. All right, so one thing you got to know about Savers is Savers uh, sucks. Sometimes you can find interesting stuff there. But for the most part, their prices are fucking jacked up and the inventory can kind of be balls sometimes. But you know what, Robert? We're going to go there anyway. Mm -hmm. Let's go. <laughs> oh, and if you're wondering why we're wearing horns, it's because uh, it's Christmas. Propaganda. 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 Mishi, what's this? What's this? It's got some dirt in hair. <laughs> if I ever considered a name change, it would be Rodney Franklin. So I really love this DVD. Um, there's this one part in the movie where uh, the Dave Matthews Band, they, uh, they're they driving over a bridge and they dump all their shit over a bunch of people. It's a really great part of the DVD. <laughs> this is something that you don't see every day. Detroit's Most Wanted CD. I've never heard of Kid Money, Gangsta Pat, UNN, or Splat Pack, Spielack Pack. Never heard of these guys, but I'm definitely gonna pick this up because I love Detroit rap, uh, especially when it was old and ridiculous. Here's a Lagwagon CD. Let's talk about feelings. Never listened to Lagwagon, but you know what? I think I'm gonna spring on it for two bucks. E-40, my Ghetto Report card, classic album, but boy, this thing is just absolutely fucked. I'm sure you guys are old enough to remember when $18 for a used CD was like, yeah, cool, I'm gonna buy this. Hey, uh, Robert, do you know that we finish off our uh, our podcast every time with a quote from a Rascal Flat song? No. Because it's not actually a Rascal Flat song, it's actually a cover song that Rascal Flatts did for the fucking Cars movies. <laughs> Robert, what'd you find over here, bud? Oh, I found uh, my favorite album. What'd they change your name to, Chicks with Dicks? Hey, it's Princess Die before she died. Wow. Oh, dude, look at this. It's a Yeti pot. I'd definitely stick that in my ass. Hey, this is another thing I hate about Savers right here is this. They switched everything over to automatic bullshit, uh, you know, self-checkout stuff. And the lines in here are always so fucked up. It's stupid. It stretches all the way to the back here and it totally smells like weed in here. Awesome. It's to a point where I don't even want to check out. So I'll just, if I don't find anything like really good, I'm just gonna fucking leave because that line's fucked. Here's a 2005 World Series champion hat, but check out this brim. It's like, can you guys hear that? It's just like completely like broken in there. Weird. Here's an old single stitch. It says Doris Cares. Kind of cool, but is it worth standing in that fucking line? No, it's not. <laughs> this is really insensitive to children with blockheads. Uh, they, sh they should be pulled immediately from all sabers. What are you picking up, dude? Oh, I love this game. It's actually all about uh, sounding and- Is that what that is? Yeah. Oh, Can you guys see Randy wearing these? Yeah, baby! Here's an A1 Chemical Incorporated barbecue shirt. You know, I wonder if The Rock knows about there's a church that's uh, taking his name. Here's a rare find in Orange County. Boy, it's slim pickings when it comes to the vintage here out here in the Savers today. Ugh, this is fucking bad. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of fuck with this. This UCLA puff paint, angel wings, uh, Phi Beta fucking cup, uh, Elements Plus. I actually think if the line dies down, I might pick this up. What's this mean? I don't know, some hippie shit. You know what's funny about this is that that's actually the same girl that I follow on Instagram and I get all my medical advice from, you know what I'm saying? Because she lives in a yurt, she lives in Eureka, and she does yoga, so she's a medical expert. Yeah, she also says that the vaccine doesn't really work as well. Hell yeah! Oh, I always look for blanks, old single stitch blanks. And this fucking thing is old, brother. I mean, what is this? Does anybody know? Is this 70s? Hold on, what's that go to the front of that? What is this? Finding leadership? I wonder if that's what John Lasseter is continuing to, that's an old joke, fuck. I don't know Margot either. It's kinda cool, it's a comedy store shirt. Oh, you don't see these every day. Six bucks, I have to get it for my buddy Bob. Here's a Lagunitas Waldo's special ale t-shirt. Waldo's is like one of those weird uh, beers that gets you fucked up within like one beer. Hey, this is kinda cool, Robert. It's nice, dude, it's just world's best farter. Farter, it speaks- I mean, father, because fathers fart a lot. Um, my dad, I think he released the Omicron out of his ass on Thanksgiving. <laughs> wow. What's going on here? It's crazy, I, um, I found these little shoes for little monsters. Uh, you can actually sniff it out to make sure that they don't have COVID. Gross, dude. Do not sniff that. Joe appropriation. So now the line goes all the way to the back of the store and wraps around all the way to the front. Dude, I don't know how long we're gonna be. Oh, can you even hear me right now? Can you? 
What's that? I wonder what it's like. The lines are boy and the zoom through your bike says that you're like, I'm a whiskey kid. Oh, sick, dude. Yeah, I know what I'm wearing in the bedroom this year. Well, never done this before, so the line is not really moving, and we're not going to wait in that line at all. So this is what I was going to pick up. I was going to pick up this vintage 1970s sports star single stitch blank shirt for me and Robert's podcast. I was going to pick up this single stitch UCLA puff paint Jabba Jabba. And I was also going to pick up this comedy store shirt. And I was going to pick up Detroit's Most Wanted and Lag Wagons Let's Talk About Feelings. But because the line is so insane, we're just going to leave. Boy, the sun is going down fast, man, but we're here at the Salvation Army Thrift Store. I've never really scored here before, but you never know with these thrift stores. Maybe we'll find something good, Robert. Let's see. Oh, I kind of like this action. It's a it's a table of hats. What's this? I shot the do shot the dog at dogs? Kind of like that. No. Ooh, look at this. Oh my god, this is actually kind of funny. Dale Earnhardt fucking Oh, wow. Oh, look at this. The nugget. No. Nope. I would call you Ugh. XM, yeah, forgot about them. Yes, a bit. Three Gorges Fords. Ooh, look at this. Clayton. Uh, Tennessee. Uh, Beep Bop. Edel Brack. Uh, all shit. Butt Busters. Here's a Moose McGillicuddy's Pub in Hawaiian. It's a single stitch from the Crazy Shirt Company in Hawaii. Robert, this is your size, bro. <laughs> wow, dude. And I love Moose McGillicuddy. <laughs> <laughs> they are actually very pro which is great. Probably the greatest shirt I've ever seen in my entire life. Here is a roll-up sleeve Sleepless in Seattle t-shirt from Toast and Jammies. Okay, this is definitely, uh, yeah, not coming with me, but fuck yeah. What the fuck is this? Is this a dog? Is it, what is this? What's going on here? Is he riding a fucking horse? What is this, Robert? It's $20. But what is it? What's going on here? Life. Here is a vintage single stitch Four Winds Maui Fucking squirking around, squish, squish, boat man, fucking, I don't even know what. This sick ass fucking Tiger Bro shirt, dude. Raw. What the fuck is this going on? We've got this vintage Prohibition Beer Olympics shirt. Is that what it's <laughs> really, yes, it is. really early vintage? Yes. Wow, fifth annual. This is, uh, wow. Okay. They definitely don't believe in the virus. No, uh, but it's, it's a God thing, so it's okay. Jesus is Can you let me know in the comment section below if this is racist? Oh, it looks just like my dad. So oh. Is the actual size? Yeah. Mm. Sometimes when you're dicking off here at thrift stores, all of a sudden you'll hit a row of shirts that just start smelling like dog shit. It's really strange. And sometimes it's there'll be like shoes, like shoe rack, and you're like, oh, there's a dog shit on these shoe racks. But you know what? I don't. The shoes are not close by. And Rand, what, I keep wanting to call you Randy. What, man, Fucking the, Raiders. The Raiders keep moving, dude. They're they're, they're now they're going to Sonora. Sonora, man. You can't keep, can't keep track. Can they just <laughs> stay put? If you guys know anything about me, this is actually my life motto right here. You know what I'm saying? So get a bite and vow. Dude, what did you find, bro? Man, this is cool. This is national security. Uh huh. Bro. Yeah, I met him time. once. Oh really? Yeah, Martin Lawrence. He was oh, cool. Well, my friend married his uh, niece. What? Really? Yeah, not they're not married anymore. Oh. Um but she did she end up marrying Clay Aiken after she was done with Martin Lawrence's uh, music? <laughs> yeah. I love the song of the humpback whale that goes <laughs> What's this? This is Biz Talk. Don't talk to me until you've read this book by Stephen Moore and Scott Woodgate. If you want to be profesh, talk about the biz, get with these fucking guys. Oh man, the only kind of Christmas music that anybody should be listening to is Jimmy Buffett. I've always been disappointed that the only one that made it out was Hootie, because the rest of the Blowfish were actually really good. Robert, what'd you find, buddy? Oh, this band Downset. They used to always be on that show Punkorama. Never heard of it. Yeah, this is uh... And a comp a property of the a record label. Yeah, it's oh. unlawful. Where are they? Oh, the uh, 2000 Epitaph. Okay, I might have yeah, to check this dude. out. Fuck yeah. Whoa, dude, these guys look sick, bro. Damn, I like that. Those, what are those? Those aren't... Are they braid? What is that in the back? Beats. What's your band called? Oh, we're called Ruthless. I mean, who in this band was like, dude, that's a sick name. Who? Which one? Another great band name, Street Dogs. Running wide open and free. I have a distinct memory of me chucking this scene <laughs> when I was a kid. I swear to God, band names are just so bad. Very rarely do I find Dr. Demento shit in the thrift, but when I do, I pick it up. Merry Christmas to me. Come in, come in close, boy. I gotta tell you the story about Santa Claus. Jesus Christ gave birth to Santa Claus in the fourth dimension, which is why Dr. Fauci and Sherman 
came together <laughs> to give a What are you doing, Robert? Score. Hey, brother, we got to get back to the Evans house because we need to do that podcast. Yes, we do. Our 100th episode. Whoa, let's go. Yeah, Robert, I would say that's the biggest scork I've ever had there. What about you, brother? Dude, I got a Moose McGill Cutty Oh, wait, we'll show, we got to show him. Yeah. Robert, what'd you get? I got my Moose McGill Cutty Moose Knuckle shirt. Fuck <laughs> yeah, dude. Ross, what'd you get? What did you get, Ross? Oh, oh first and foremost, I got this Dale Earnhardt. Right. Raise him. Raise Dale. Uh, Santa Hat Claus hat. I also got this gorgeous single stitch unbranded golf shirt with these little pop, 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 pop. Ooh, it's all embroidered. I like that. And last but not least, as far as clothing goes, I got this Cardinal size medium old school windbreaker with the bulldog on there. A mean bulldog. And last but not least with all this stuff, down set because Robert said, yeah, baby. And then I got Dr. Demento's greatest novelty CD of all time. Why? Because Dr. Demento's the fucking the stupid shit. All right, Rand, I, what, I keep wanting to call you Randy, but. Cal Rithkin. Robert, let's sign off. All right, would you like this video? Go ahead and give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel. And also, if you didn't know, me and Robert have a podcast. I'm on Robert's podcast. Robert Land. And uh, it's linked down below, like as always. And I hope you enjoyed this. And uh, like, uh, give it a thumbs up if you did. And if you haven't subscribed, already subscribed. And did you know that Robert and I have a podcast together? I'm on Robert's podcast. Robert Land. And uh, if you didn't like this video, then I said, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And um, I also, if you could subscribe to the channel, and uh, we have a podcast together. I'm on Robert's podcast. It's called Robert Land. All right. I hope you have a nice again. It's in the middle of the What's the catch? <laughs> How's your steak? Really good. I love the ambiance here. Fucking great, dude. So good. I love this song. <laughs>